Hi and welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Michael Novello and this video tutorial I record what error, error or mistake I make because I had tried to, to record this video I don't know so many times. I'm finished now. You have to live with errors because uh, it's. I think the. I think I've recorded this video over ten times, and now it's enough. Okay. Uh, in this video, tutorial, I want to show you how you do some roof tiles. This kind of roof, roof tiles are very common in um, Italy, um, South France. Spain and so on, and uh, in ancient times here in Germany or in Europe as well, because they are really simple, easy to make, even in Blender. Um, let's just go into front view, add a cylinder, and align it to the view. And in the edit mode, we have to deselect the limit selection to visible. And we have to select these vertices here. And then delete them. And in the top view, let's just grab these guys on the top. And with the control key, move them something like that. Then scale them except the set axis with S and Shift Z and move them a little bit inwards like this, maybe a little bit too much here, like this. Okay, now we have something like a roof tile here. And that's just scale them in the set axis here a little bit and in the front view bring them down and scale the front as well a little bit and bring them down so that it's not perfectly a uh, circle just give it a little bit of a ditch and it's okay. Then jump out of edit mode and we'll scale it down a little bit like this. So yeah, this should be fine. And set it smooth. And in the modifiers let's add an array modifier and because I want a little bit of a gap here between to 1.0 1.03 something like that that's okay cool and now we can crank up this number here to 8 or 10, that's okay. And now we have to duplicate them in the y axis as well. Just add or copy this this uh, array here, fold this down, and we want in the y axis this time. So we set this. Uh, zero, the x-axis and the y-axis at let's say point because I want a little bit of overlapping point eight. Okay, that's not what I wanted, and that's because I rotated it and I scaled it, and it's not the original uh, uh, modifiers are always um, taking the coordinates from the original uh, not aligned to view um, model. So we have just to hit control A and we have to 
apply the rotation and scale. Then we have something like that. And that's okay, like this. And because we want a little bit of a thickness here, let's add a solidify modifier. And maybe this is a little bit too thick. Uh, oh no, it's okay. That's okay. Okay, that's how you make a roof tile. Roof tiles, but we are not finished yet. We are duplicating these guys here again. And now I delete just the arrays here. And I rotate this guy by the y axis by 180 degrees. <coughs> Sorry. And I move it in front view somewhere like this. And now we don't have to go in the uh, we have now the to do the overlapping in the other direction. So add the array. At first, let's apply the rotation and scale. And then we crank up the number to nine. Because I don't want to. If I hit ten, I am here. And if I have nine, I'm here. Okay. And because we have a little gap, I have to put this gap here as well. So it's all fine. Let's move them a little bit up like this. That's okay. And Maybe we should do something else. We should rotate in the set axis by 180 degrees. And again, apply rotation and scale. And in the front view, let's move it up a little bit more. And move it in. And that's better. Okay. Now it's looking more realistic. Okay, because they are going inwards here, and it makes sense that that here is the smaller part. Then, okay, and we then only need one array more. Let's add another array, and in the x-axis, you put null uh, zero in there. In here, point eight. And we crank up the number up to 10. And that's it. Now we have a roof tile or roof like they are in Italy or Spain or in the medieval uh, ancient times. You can add um, some subdivision surface modifier there, in there or I'll put a texture on it, whatever. So that's it. I hope you liked it and this time I made it without any big errors. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!